Welcome back to Chrono Trigger, everybody. It's your boy Jungle972 here. As Chrono is trying to get my attention, let's go to the South Village and see what they're talking about. About the hero showing up. Well, this is poor in, poor in. And they got a market here, too. With this armor, I can fight against the Fiend Lord. Oof! It's so heavy! Clearly, he's never played Dark Souls. Oh, yes. Definitely gonna need some new armor. And potions are good. Here we go. A couple more of these and. Yeah, let's get equipped. How about that? Oh! Alrighty, here we go. And a golden suit. Oh, hold on a second. Yeah, he don't need that. Hang on. How about this? We'll give her the magic scarf and... Yeah, we're good. Alright. Let's see what's at the, uh, at the bar. That naughty little urchin, Tata, is the legendary hero. <laughs> Tata. I'm born from this very village. No, I haven't heard the latest. Who the one to tell you? The legendary hero is from our own village. Okay, you just repeated it. Talk about Queen Lena the Massive Moon. Ugly Frogman. Hey, hey, don't talk shit about Glenn. What he was going off to? Count my blessings. It's a lot quieter without the little brat around. <laughs> okay. No brat around anyway. But the Magic Cave, the East of Dunador Mountains. I saw a sheer rock with this part that's a castle, like a castle gate, and a host of fiends strolled right in. Best leave magazines and the cronies to his own devices, though, unless you want trouble. Alrighty. Let's see. In Elder's House. <laughs> I'm gonna be Tata's bride one day. <laughs> Some spice jerky. What a wondrous meal I can have. I can make. Generation not the size of what it's about. Find a way to open it and the contents are yours. I will soon enough. Alrighty. Enough of that. Tata's house. <laughs> My old son, the legendary heroes. Seems I sired myself a champion. I can't say it true. I truly say it though, but suppose I had a, I had a good question of fortune. Father of a hero? <laughs> I like the ring to it. Let's see. My grandson is a great hero. That's from my side of the family. You know, when somebody's successful, everybody wants to have to say, you know what, something's part of, it's part of their family. Their side of the family, yada yada yada, this and that. Eh. Oh, families, how they just love to take just take credit of everything, don't they? Then a door mounts it is. 300G. Uh oh. And these goblins. Here we go. Ow. Ow. Leave me alone. Bitch. Yeah. Take these two out. Oh, and while I was off camera too, I uh, grinded a little bit. Needed to catch up on a few things. Especially, you know, learn a few new techniques. Let's see. Alrighty. Let's take care of the toy the little brother with the bell. And. And a panakia. Treasure chest there. And what is this? Hello, Tata! Yes, that is the quote unquote legendary hero because, well, of course we all know who it is. Let's see. <laughs> this is a terrible place. You best run away while you can. And an Ogin. Okay, definitely need some fire here. Okay, hold on. Fire it off. Burn the mallets. Dude, if that was me, I would have held on to that mallet and then just swung it with fire, dude. That would have been pretty metal. Alrighty. Go through here. And ether. Ooh. 
Did he just throw him a rock, or was that a chicken that he threw him? <laughs> you know what that reminds me of? That reminds me of that one scene on uh, Aquatine Hunger Force with uh, Dr. Weird, with the uh, janitor, he's a Mexican dude, picks up uh, Dr. Weird's little uh, jewel, and he goes, put it back, and then shoots uh, tacos to kill him. Being a Mexican, that's hilarious to me. I don't know why, but that's hilarious. All right, here we go. Let's see, move up these cliffs. And oh, I'll take. Let me handle them. Easy as pie. Just a little time consuming. Oh, you know what? Bring it. Hey, you want to start a fight though? So let's finish it. Alrighty. And you're done. Keep going this way. Alrighty. And oh, freaking bird. Okay, that's done. Hmm, heard a noise there. Ooh, a strength capsule. Okay, golden helmets. And an Ogun was waiting for me. Yeah, I think that was a chicken that he threw at him. No. Alrighty. You know, you know what? Actually, I, mean, I forgot how I got down there. There's a mid potion. Oh, that's right. It's uh, on the other side of the, the other side of this map, real quick. I'll get to it eventually. Okay, the mid ether. Uh oh. Okay, that little ambush is taken care of, and there's another coming up. That was a little boring. Uh, we got a small series of fights coming up right here. Okay, so I know there's going to be a lot of Eds on that one. Jeez. <laughs> Alright, let's keep moving forward. Boom. 300 Gs. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, what's going on here? Oh, oh, oh no. Oh no, oh no. Don't want to do that. Don't want to do that. I completely forgot about all that. <sighs> Another mid ether. Yeah, I'm gonna leave you. Oh, I guess I can't leave you alone now. Another fight down. Man, they really, uh... And two birds, huh? Yeah, you know what? Here's two birds right here for you. That's done. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Somebody learned something. Who learned who? Who learned what? Oh, Nadia learned cure. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, and uh, this little specky looking guy. Mountains are nice. Such a nice view. Mountains are nice. You really gonna leave me alone, huh? Here, take this. <laughs> Magic capsule, it is. No, oh, yeah, yeah, that's all I gotta do. Okay, who gets the magic capsule? You know what, Nadi needs it because hers is a little bit weaker. Okay, inventory it is. I'm gonna shelter it. Yeah, you know, and we're not gonna continue this. We're actually gonna continue this until we reach the peak of the mountain. 
So yeah, let's. Oh, excuse me. We're in it for the long run. Let's keep it going. Plus, this place is really well put together too. And this is mine. Oh, God damn it. Okay. What do we got? Three goblins, huh? That's one down. Let's make it another, shall we? Pull down, comrade. You think you don't have hammer? You can, you can save you that way, huh? You think hammer will save you? No. You have no hammer. So piss off. Really? Really? Eh, go fuck yourself. We ain't fighting. Alrighty. Bunch of kids laying around. Ah, you kids! I'm the wind! Whoosh! Ooh! This appears to be the Master Moon. Hey, don't go up there. Did you come to take it? Uh, the Master Moon, I mean. Nah, I thought so. Just wait a second, alright? Oh, big brother, where are you, Masa? What is it, Moon? Uh, not again. <laughs> so you thought to make, make a name of yourself by grabbing the, by as a hero grabbing the Master Moon. The Masa Moon. Did you? What a buffoon. Humans are all the same, aren't they? A lot of them are, believe it or not. Oh, he's just... Oh, he's just... Ooh. I think it's just not the strongest one. Can't even understand the simple as that. Guess that proves you're human. Well, we're only human. So, how about this? Usual test. Give him a chance to entertain us for a while. Dude, I don't babysit kids. But in this case, though, babysitting means fighting. Here we go. And all you gotta do is take out one twin and then you're good. Woo! Alrighty, come on, what do you got? Yeah, wait till you're done. He's gonna try to confuse us. <laughs> Joke's on you, we're using ice. Woo! Hey, even that confused. Oh. Way to do that, take right out of confusion. Alrighty, another nut, another ice sword. Ooh, they've been beaten. Earn four tech points. Bonus level increase. Lucas. Ooh. <laughs> I beat. <laughs> I beat up the. We beat up the little brother. Hey, Moss, these ones are pretty tough. No one's asked this long since Cyrus. What should we do? We fight him for real, of course. Yes. Plus, in a game where. Uh, Square teamed up with Akira Toriyama and the creator of Dragon Quest, not to mention Hironobu Sakaguchi, including Yoshinori Matsuda as uh, doing the main music, along with a little bit of finishing with Nobu Yamatsu. It's only fair, yeah, no more games, that a game that has uh, Toriyama's uh, influence in it to have fusion, am I right? And Moon's Brains, Masa's Bravery? Fusion? Ha! Here we go. <laughs> man, homeboy's been on the man, these boys have been on the gas, haven't they? Yeah, make sure Nadia's completely healed too. Oh wait, Nadia's Yeah, she is healed. Oh yeah, and the decisive battle starts. Let's see. Oh yeah. Remember the uh, old man talking about wind? Well, here we go. Storing world wind energy. Hang on. Wind slash. Yeah, world wind energy disappeared. Alrighty, so now let's go to the magic, shall we? Freeze you up a little bit, and then we're gonna heat you up a little bit of napalm. Oh yeah. Man, that's a little bit too close. In this case, danger close. Oh, 
Fire Sword it is. We'll heal Chrono. Damn. Those hay those double hit fisted haymakers. You know what? Any food bomb it is. Luca, you are in serious dire need of healing. Storm World Run Energy. Mm, no, you're not. There's your cutoff right here, buddy. I'm sorry to know, Celia. Sword. Okay, Chrono, stay healthy. Man, these swords are close. Vacuum wave. Wind slash it is. Okay. Whirlwind energy dissipated. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh! I dig it. I love the uh, defeated blue color. 500 experience points or tech points, 10 tech points, 1500 G's. They beat us, Masa. That was fun. You think they'll fix us? Will they find us a proper owner? Yeah, it'll be all right. Well. Lend us the Masa Moon. Just the blade itself, huh? So this is the Masa Moon. It looks like it's been broken for ages. Obtain the broken Masa Moon. Allow me, we'll ride the wind to the base of the mountain. Good luck to you. Whoosh! Base of the mountain, here we go. And at the end, I'm going to edit right here. And on the next episode, we're going to figure out what we can find out about the Broken Massa Moon. So, I'll see you on the next episode. Much love, and uh, peace!